Welcome back. One thing I'm going to talk about quickly before we move on is uh, threading. If we haven't done threading before, you don't know anything about it. Basically, oh, my mouse is frozen. Um, user interface is run on one thread, this here. So this is how we can click all these little different things here. We can type, when we're making a communications application, we don't want to block up this thread here with a thread that, you know, is doing something else, like it might be downloading. So in that case, we'd want to start a new thread and then run them simultaneously. Uh, I hope that makes a bit sense, but we'll explain a bit later, I think. Um, stop that. So we go using system.threading. Now what we want to do is when we run this and click go, we want it to check first with a client or server is connected and then we'll make our Bluetooth connection based on on that. So if RB dot yeah RB client dot is checked or sorry checked then we want to run connect as client else we want to connect as server and go ahead and let Visual Studio implement these generate method generate method uh, while we're on to importing we'll just do a few other things we're going to need later so using in the hand using in the hand dot net dot bluetooth using in the hand dot net dot ports using in the hand dot net dot sockets we go using in the hand dot system oh sorry system dot io and that's us so moving on to some bluetooth stuff now what we're going to do first is we're going to do the server side uh, let's quickly just change this so the server is already checked when we start just so we don't accidentally not check something save that right so now to start connect as server so first thing we want to do is set up our new thread so let's go uh, thread we'll call it bluetooth server thread equals new thread new thread start oh, god damn it new thread start and we want to go call it a method called server dot oh sorry keep screwing this up server connect thread and then we go bluetooth server thread dot start so basically what this is going to do is it's going to create a new thread um, and then it's going to run the method here we've named server connect thread so we're going to generate that uh, no, we're not going to do it that way I'm going to go public void server connect thread and this is where we're going to put all our goody goody code in so that's basically how you do a simple thread in C sharp it's the only threading I really know on this so we're going to stick with that um, next thing we're going to throw in a GUID so M U U I D. if you've been Following along with the Android tutorials, you'll know already what a UUID is. But basically, it's a way of identifying the, I guess, the connection. Um, could be wrong. Basically, you need this kind of unique identifier for your connection. So, 
if you were making an app to communicate between, um, like if you made an Android app and you want to communicate with this one and you want it to be unique, you could go online and there's lots of UUID generators. But I'm just going to use a generic one here. So often what it does is it allows you to connect to electronic module devices. That are set up as servers. Like they'll have a pretty standardized UUID and that allows us to connect to them. So technically you could connect from this laptop here to a module. I was waffling on while I was trying to write that number there. Right, now what we want to do is we want to use a class called a Bluetooth listener. So let's go ahead and write Bluetooth listener. Blue listener. New Bluetooth listener. And we'll use that UUID we just had there. And then we want to go blue listener dot start. Now this is the blocking call which I talked about earlier. You don't want to block the main user interface with a blocking call, so that's why we've used this thread. So once a client is connected to the server that we have just started, um, we could publish a message to our, our output, which will be this one, and then we can handle the connection. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm, I'm more used to Android and handlers, so I really struggle with inter-threading communication here, but there is a way to do it. Find it here. I'm gonna go private void. I'm just gonna call this update UI. I'm gonna load a string message in there. And then I'm gonna go fun. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little ignorant on what all this stuff is. I just don't know C sharp well enough. Uh, text box output dot append text. We get a message. And then we just want to go plus system dot environment dot new line. Now you may be wondering why I do this instead of writing plus n. Um, that actually won't work because it's post compile. That it basically will ignore that backslash n because it's already compiled the code. Um, so we got to go system environment new line and then return zero. Invoke. So once we've got the client connected, we want to go update UI, and we just put a wee message in there. Client has connected. Uh, we'll chuck in a wee while loop to handle this. True. Handle server connection. Okay, now this function stuff here basically what it is is it's it's making like an on the spot method as far as i'm aware um yeah i haven't really looked into it too much i've just i probably don't need this int return and this return statement here but just think of it basically as an inline method or function if you're used to functions and um yeah we'll just leave it there You'll probably find better information on Google than I can give you at the moment. So I'm going to start this. Let's hope it compiles fine. Oh, good. Okay. Hang on. Maybe that's not a blocking call. Sorry, my bad. I missed a lot of code here. 
we want to go Bluetooth client con equals Bluetooth listener bot accept accept Bluetooth client. That here is the blocking call, not the start, sorry. Um, that was my bad. Uh, let's run it again. And that should be running a Bluetooth connection. I'll just try to connect with my phone here and see if that's all working. Beautiful application on Android called Bluebox, if you're interested. And here we go. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if I can get that working and um, get back to you.